Hi people, uh, it's Friday and i uh, got a little VC uh, vinyl update for you. Um, just a couple of good charity shop hauls. Um, there's a St John's Hospice, excuse me. There's a St John's Hospice where I live. And uh, I think I've spoken about them before. They, 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 they sort of normally filter the records through gradually, you know, the, uh, the good ones that is. Um, so you have to be kind of constantly alert for any good stuff kind of all of a sudden popping up. But they seem to have shifted their policy a little bit now and more good records are filtering through quicker. There's more good ones appearing in the window. There's more good ones appearing in the bins. And there's a new bin on the counter now which says recently received stock or something, you know, new stock. And virtually everything in that box is, I'd say, you know, kind of worth having. So I've had to pick and choose quite carefully because uh, you know I could spend a lot of money in that shop now and I've left stuff there today. I've left Clapton albums there, I've left Stevie Winwood albums there, I've left a few things there that I could easily have picked up and they were kind of you know four pounds, five pounds each and uh, I've got to watch the bank balance really um, because I, I, I bought a lot anyway you know but I'm going to have to exercise restraint. I'm going to whiz through these really quickly I don't want this video to be longer than about 10 minutes long, um, so uh, I'll quickly show you what I managed to pick up. So last week I picked up a few things from this place. Um, Randy Crawford's Secret Combination uh, from the, I think from 1980. I've heard a couple of people talking about this, Jorgen maybe and Doug. Nice album from the 80s, sounds really good. And then, so today actually I picked up another one by Randy Crawford, uh, Now We May Begin. I don't know anything about that, but I enjoyed the first one, so I thought I'd give that a little spin. She's quite a kind of underrated artist, really. She was bigger in England than she was in America, oddly enough. I picked up this one. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, Chet Atkins, famous country music makers. I've played this already, and uh, there's some absolutely phenomenal guitar playing on here. Big influence on George Harrison. Splendid. The best of Burt Bacharach. This contains some marvellous things. Uh, the Walker Brothers, Make It Easy On Yourself. Dusty Springfield, The Look Of Love, which sounds magnificent. There's the track list there. I really like actually the Wally Stott Choral, Trains and Boats and Planes. And this can't go wrong with Bacharach. <laughs> I picked up this one because it was only 2 dollars from Oxfam. Belinda Carlisle, Heaven On Earth. Just one of the great kind of 80s pop rock albums. Okay so today's haul contains a couple of interesting items as well as slightly more run-of-the-mill things. I was really pleased to pick up this next record because I've seen it on eBay definitely fetching more than I paid for it today and I think it's known as like a kind of cult album. This is Colin Bluntstone and Journey. Uh, this is from 1974, a solo album uh, by um, Colin Bluntstone from The Zombies. Um, I've heard it a, a few times over the years in, in various formats and it's quite a highly well regarded album. Uh, it's on <laughs> the inner sleeve. It's on uh, the Epic label. I'm looking forward to that. I notice on the back there's a guy called Derek Griffiths and his band. I like the surname. There was a children's TV presenter in England in the 1970s called Derek Griffiths who was a musician, a really good musician actually, and he was an actor and, and a musician and I'm wondering whether it's the same Derek Griffiths. Can anybody on the VC help me with that? Interesting. Anyway, Colin Bluntstone and Journey. That was $4.99. Um, picked up a copy of Tarkus by ELP for $5.99 in really excellent shape. That was in the cardboard box at the top, the one that said recently arrived stock. Yeah, $5.99 for ELP, which is pretty good value, I think. Picks up a Santana's Greatest Hits in very good plus condition. That was $2.99. This is a good one. I'm starting to collect more and more Johnny Cash. This one was going cheap, $2.99. This is the soundtrack. Uh, for the Gregory Peck film uh, I Walk the Line. 
in really, really good nick. Superb. Again, the next three albums may not improve my VC credibility. I don't know. Perhaps they will, but I saw them. I saw all three of them and I thought I'll get them because you don't often see them in the wild anymore. And uh, even though he, he wasn't very cool in his day, I think things have moved around a little bit for old Phil. But seriously, his first face value. And hello, I must be going. They were about £2.50 each. Not much to say about them really, other than that Phil is Phil, isn't he? This is a good one. £2.49 for Johnny Nash, My Merry Go Round, which I believe is an album, an original album rather than a compilation, or I could be mistaken. It's got rather a nice gatefold. Johnny Nash, slightly disappointed that uh, I can see clearly now is not on here. That's my partner's favourite song ever, so I was hoping to play that to her tonight, but it's not on there. But uh, a nice pickup in good condition. Quick copy of the Beach Boys 20 Golden Greats, which I used to have and lost my copy of that. Dirt cheap, 199. And finally, I was really chuffed, as we say, to pick this one up in the cardboard box on top. This is Back on the Road. 32 tracks of the very best of Progressive Underground. And it's just got the most brilliant track list. It's got Free, All Right Now, Hendrix, Watchtower, Jethro Tull, Living in the Past. It's got Focus, The Birds, The Nice, Canned Heat, On the Road Again, Black Sabbath, Paranoid, Deep Purple, Black Knight, Traffic, Paper Sun. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so looking forward to giving that a spin. Um, Back on the road, it says here, as seen on TV, so it must have been advertised on TV. Uh, it's on the Stylus label. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's one, two, eight, four, 32 tracks on there. All of them good for 3 99 So, uh, marvellous. Anyway, I've spent far too much money and uh, I'm gonna restrain myself now over the coming weeks. I've got a couple of features that I wanna do, special features, because I've not done any kind of music discussion based videos for a while so they're going to be the next things coming up apart from a Beatles update which may well go up at the same time as this video we'll see. Uh, anyway I just thought I'd uh, show you that haul um, as it was quite unexpected, quite large and uh, hopefully I think it'll be quite good fun. <laughs> Alright VC, thanks to all subscribers old and new and uh, I'll see you very soon, bye.